It's not the best drawing in the world, but I'm going to explain to you what the safety relay does on an XS650. Let's try and turn that around a little bit nicer. Right, basically, when the engine's off, you, the engine's not running, you turn the ignition on, it feeds alive to one side through the red and white wire on the uh, safety relay, and that's, that's already got a connection and that red and white wire uh, feeds the other red and white wire because you've got two red and white wires that go to the safety relay which goes through the start solenoid down to the start switch and when you depress the start switch that earths it out which in turn lives up the relay in the start solenoid which connects to your starter motor and starts the bike once that happens, right, there's a yellow wire which comes from your existing alternator, right, which tells this relay, right, the bike's running. So what that then does is that connects the red and yellow wire and the blue and black wire makes a connection there, which gives your headlights uh, and your lighting system alive then. So now your headlights are all lived up and it disconnects the live through the two red wires which connect to your starter motor. So when the bike's running, what it actually does is prevent you from depressing the starter motor and, and having that turn over again. So, right. Right, so on the, what you need to do if you're using an existing wiring loom, right, with a PMA system, is you need to disconnect this safety relay. And to do that, what you need to do is, is get get your two red wire, red and white wires. Yeah, I hit my thumb, finger with a hammer the other day. Get your your two red and white wires and disconnect them from the uh, from the the loom plug. And then cross them over. So forget the plug. There's a relay. So this is this is the existing existing relay plug there. So it's no longer in use. So basically, the two red and white wires that go to the uh, safety relay from the wiring loom, cut them off, and then cross them over. And the same is with the yellow and uh, red wire and the blue and black wire you need to cut them out of the plug go into the uh, safety relay and cross them over too because this yellow and uh, red wire is the live feed to the lights which is the blue and the black wire so you cross them two over right and this other wire which I've got coming from these two lives here you probably won't need to do that is because on this wiring loom, when I um, I've got a live going to this live goes to the solenoid. At the, sorry, it's supposed to go to the solenoid through the loom and to the solenoid. But there's a break somewhere in this, and I couldn't get a feed to the solenoid. So basically, I just tapped off of this these two lives here and went straight to the solenoid that way. But you probably won't need to do that. You know, I can get my starter mark going in the first place with that anyway. So that's all you need to do, and just you can just take that out and put it somewhere else really. And uh, that's all you need to do really. Just cross the two red and white wires over, which gives you a, a, a permanent feed, a permanent live, and cross the the yellow and yellow and the black and uh, blue wires over, which gives you a permanent feed to your lights. Now, if you're using the PMA system, it doesn't really matter about having a light switch because when you first turn the bike on now, your headlight's going to come straight on. Whereas before, it never used to come on until we started the bike up. 
And the other thing to be aware of is when your bike started now you can still use the starter button to, to um, engage the starter motor so you need to be careful of, of doing that while the engine's running. But you need I mean to, for using a PMA system on existing wiring loom you've got to take that out. There's no there's no other way around it really I, that I know of. Here's another tip for you. When you're doing your uh, your clutch, or you get the clutch side casing off, don't get these gaskets here, which come in the old, in the kits. As you see, this is what I was talking about the other week about having that massive cut out there for the uh, for the oil passageway, which only gives you this little tiny sliver here. Uh, you know what I mean? And if it's if it's moved too far over, slightly over. You're only going to get half of that little sliver there as a seal. In fact, go for one of these gaskets with that whole part now is 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 blocked off, so you can't you won't have any worries with one of these gaskets. I mean, they're both all the holes line up exactly the same, exactly the same all the way around. But, but like that little tiny piece there. It's only got a break and you screw your engine up. So go for one of these. Just spend the extra bit of money, look online and find one of these. You'll get them on eBay. I think they're only about £9 or something like that. Nine, nine or ten pounds, something like that. But it's worth spending the extra for one of those, definitely. That's my uh, that's my tip for the day.